This is your Weather Extreme video for Sunday, July the 3rd. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Thanks for tuning in. Satellite image this morning shows we do have a few patchy clouds across the state of Alabama, but plenty of sunshine, I'm sure, working its way into the state. Most of the clouds along a boundary that is just to our north, where uh, much of the storms are out to the northwest of us, out in the central plain states. In the upper atmosphere, the pattern over the southeastern U.S. is somewhat flat. Uh, however, it's uh, flat, but still sort of a ridge, and that's helping to keep things rather warm across the area. Temperatures this morning are not very cool, with most readings in the uh, lower and mid-70s. I do note there that Fort Payne, with the help of the higher elevation, is at 64. I'm sure that must feel pretty nice up there. The watch warning map features a number of uh, flash flood watches, that dark green area, uh, along that boundary to our north. And then in addition to that, over Texas and parts of Louisiana, we have uh, heat advisories. And in the northwestern United States, we have high fire danger. The quantitative precipitation forecast for the next five days, and that goes uh, uh, through Friday morning, keeps much of the heavier rain well to our north. Across Alabama, if you're in the southern two-thirds of the state, you're probably going to see only between about a quarter and maybe three-quarters of an inch if you're lucky. Uh, whereas to the north, being a little closer to that boundary, we may see slightly higher amounts. Along that boundary, the Storm Prediction Center is also uh, outlooking a slight risk for severe storms stretching from eastern Oklahoma across parts of Missouri and Illinois into uh, extreme southern Indiana as well as western Kentucky. On day two, and that would be July 4th, we have two slight risk areas, one basically over the Texas panhandle and then the second one over parts of Kentucky Indiana, Ohio, and West Virginia. Day three, the risk shifts well to our north with the main storm track with a slight risk centered mostly on the southern two-thirds of Wisconsin. Tropics are quiet in the Atlantic Basin, not so quiet in the eastern Pacific Basin where we have Agatha and Blass, and neither of those expected to be a threat to land. And then on the other side of the world, we have Tropical Storm 02W, or Nipartak, and that is uh, forecast to pass just to the southwest of Guam uh, later today uh, and then move on uh, up approaching the uh, continent there uh, of Asia and China. All right, the 06 e GFS motor run, and there's our isolated showers for today as high pressure continues to be the dominating feature that we see in the weather pattern. In the upper atmosphere Monday, we're watching the approach of a, of a weak disturbance. And it is a weak disturbance, but I think that uh, come uh, Tuesday especially, we'll see that disturbance help to create a few more showers. So for July 4th, it looks like primarily those afternoon and early evening showers and thunderstorms. I think most fireworks displays will get in okay, since most of the showers should be gone by 9 o'clock when many of those firework displays begin. That little weakness comes across Tuesday, and I think that's the day that uh, those of us in central Alabama are going to be able to see the most in the way of rain chances or the better rain chances. Doesn't mean everybody's going to get wet. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, with a sh uh, showery nature, you know, some of us could stay dry. That little disturbance uh, is slow to move by, so Wednesday I think we see a little bit better chance for showers as well across uh, parts of uh, the southeastern United States. Then the ridge begins to take back over on Thursday in the upper atmosphere, and so that should bring us back into the isolated to scattered shower regime, the typical summertime pattern. And that ridge is the pre uh, predominant feature that we see for Friday and for again on Saturday over the southeastern United States. So it looks like, once again, just have to put those uh, small chances for showers in the forecast on a daily basis uh, through next weekend. And then for Sunday, once again, the ridge still in place and the main storm track well to our uh, north. And so we stay pretty much in that regime. Looking out into voodoo country, the GFS uh, suggests that the ridge will stay with us through about the 13th of July. From the 13th of July till the end of the forecast period around the 18th of July, the GFS is promising a pattern shift with the ridge moving back out along the eastern slopes of the Rockies with a trough uh, over the eastern half of the country, generally uh, just along the east coast of the United States. That would certainly produce a 
um, bit of period with a, a relief from the heat for us, and I'm certainly pulling for this, but you know how voodoo is. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. That'll do it for the Weather Extreme video for uh, this edition. James Spann will be back in the saddle with probably just one uh, Weather Extreme video on Monday, thanks to the fact that it's a federal holiday and July 4th, Independence Day, and happy birthday to the United States. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Have a great day and Godspeed.